Welcome back. Well, the markets continue to hold strong uh, as we speak. But let's get straight to our next corporate, CSP Bank. That's the one on our radar. The quarter two business update was good, aided by robust uh, loan growth as well as healthy deposit growth. The bank's gold loan portfolio has also surged more than 30% in the past quarter. Mr. Mondal, the managing director and the chief executive officer at the bank joins us on the show. Hi, Mr. Mondal. Thanks so much for joining in and, and always good to speak to you. Well, before we get to the loan growth, I want to talk about the deposit growth. That's been quite healthy. Could you tell us what is the incremental cost of funds in comparison to the average cost of funds? And are you seeing a bit of a switch from CASA to term deposits? Good morning, Nigel, and uh, thank you for having me on your show. Uh, what you're saying is correct, that the growth in CASA has been uh, slightly muted compared to the deposit growth. Uh, and that is a systemic, I mean, if you look at most of the banks and the system, whatever we have seen so far, uh, I think there has been uh, uh, faster deposit growth than CASA. And that is obviously when you have a, a, a GSEC at 7.2 plus kind of a scenario, uh, it is bound to happen because uh, customers will have better returns on deposits compared to CASA. Having said that, the core CASA, you know, which is uh, current and savings, uh, will continue to grow for banks which has a full service franchise. Uh, for us also, we are building that gradually and hopefully in the next few years, we'll continue to see a momentum on the CASA franchise as well. But right now, our core focus is to grow the balance sheet, grow the asset book, and hence the funding structure is extremely important. To that extent, we have been able to build up stable, sustainable deposit franchise. And that shows in our consistent growth in the last few quarters. This quarter also okay. we have grown down 21%. So that mm. probably is sustainable in our view. No, what about the cost of funds, Batsa? You know, you're, that, that yeah. will be a little higher, right, in comparison to what it is. Absolutely. So give us a sense Absolutely. out there. Average cost so, of funds, as you've seen recently, in comparison to the normal averages. And also, what does it mean in terms of NIMS? I think for the year on average, you're guiding for around 5%. Do you hold on to that? Yes. So uh, uh, you're right that uh, average cost of funds is going up for the system as well as for us. But the good part is this is a transient kind of uh, increment uh, because what I see is generally it is going to flatten out because we know that the GSEC curve, which is at probably at its peak at this point of time, should start uh, getting flatter too and then uh, you know, have a slightly tapering by end of uh, this financial year. So I think cost of funds will also follow that process. So overall, I think we would have had, a, if you look at a quarter on quarter, I mean, that is not in public domain, difficult to uh, give exactly a number, but somewhere, uh, uh, you know, there will be uh, uh, anywhere between uh, uh, 20 to 50 basis points, somewhere between 30 to 40 basis points, kind of a, uh, uh, a dip that will happen, uh, sorry, increase that will happen in the cost of funds. Uh, having said that, this is probably the last quarter because uh, what it matters eventually is the name. And mm. this would be the last quarter, hopefully, where we are uh, kind of a bottom end, bottoming out of our name. And we are pretty confident, given the size of our balance sheet, which is relatively smaller, we are able to manage that better. So to that extent, I think we are sort of bottoming out on, on our name. Uh, and okay. from that perspective, I think uh, we should be able to manage within that uh, summer around that 5%. I mean, even if it goes few basis points here and there, either higher or lower than five, this will be the last quarter. But we will end the year between five to five and a half for sure. So that's okay. that's the perspective overall. Uh, on the uh, on your specific questions on uh, cost of funds, let me tell you that our CASA, cost of CASA has remained the simil similar. Only the incremental deposits, now you know that it is not available anything below for a one year kind of a deposit, anything below seven and a half today. So whatever that mix is growing, is growing at seven and a half to eight percent and sometimes even slightly higher so to that extent but that's very very transient and we have taken reasonably short-term deposits to ensure that we mirror the yield curve that is moving ahead so that's broadly where we are now okay mr model hi good morning uh and hopefully that will be the case although even i remember at the end of the first quarter also that was the expectation that you know we'll perhaps see a bottom uh but who knows right we're talking about higher for longer uh, globally and uh, interest rates being uh, generally uh, on, the, on, on, the, on the higher side. So we'll have to see. Uh, my question specifically is on the portfolio itself, on the asset mix. Uh, you'd said that uh, gold will still be the main, last time we spoke, gold will be the mainstay till F525. 
how, how is that kind of strategy panning out? I mean, are you being able to, you know, grow aggressively in other areas uh, in a way which which you're comfortable with? Uh, and Or, or, or uh, will this, will the timeline need to be pushed out a little bit? I, I, the reason I'm asking that is because a few uh, NBFCs, etc., we've spoken with recently over the last uh, one and a half months or so, have been warning about, uh, uh, you know, on the retail side, some uh, risks emerging, etc. I'm sure, uh, you know, you would have caught on to that as well. Uh, but uh, what's your view? Gold, of course, practically is, uh, in a way, a risk-free kind of a, a loan that you make. Uh, the credit costs are negligible. So uh, my question is in that uh, context. Go on, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Prashant. And absolutely right that uh, on your first part of your question that yield curve has continued to remain elevated for a while, uh, especially because of some of the comments that has been made by Fed in the or uh, Fed representatives in the last few uh, interactions. But if you look at today, the, I mean, some of the uh, challenges which are facing last few days in terms of uh, the job seen in the U.S., uh, that has been uh, not so good what data came yesterday. So overall, I think the bond deals ha has stepped up a little bit today, U.S. bond deals from a 16-hour high. Uh, and that is starting to reflect in our uh, numbers today, but it is a day-to-day, -day, it's difficult to say. And to that extent, the uh, uh, from an inflation perspective, you can see that uh, uh, this gold, uh, uh, you know, dollar index has also slightly uh, come down today, and uh, uh, the overall uh, scenario is looking slightly better today. But it's a day to day, so who knows? But what I'm reasonably sure is, uh, by the end of this financial year, uh, things will uh, stabilize, uh, given the GDP forecast of around 6.3 and uh, inflation, even if it goes up around 5.9. I think we will be pretty much okay and we will see a slightly tapering off from the uh, bond yield curve and hence cost of deposit will hopefully start coming down. Coming to your second question on gold and uh, assets kind of a uh, mix for us, gold will remain elevated for us till FY25 and then it will start picking up. I mean, uh, nowadays we are all celebrating Indian uh, story on the Asian Games with 81 medals yesterday. But this didn't happen in one night or one day or one quarter, right? So there was a time when we celebrate one gold medal in hockey and maybe one by, you know, PT Usha or something like that. But today, out of 81, while we still get that gold on hopefully in hockey, but because of the hard work that has been put and the process that has been followed, today, whether it is shooting or track and field, et cetera, everything is contributed significantly. We are in the port position as a sure. country and a very... Um Mr. Mondal, I absolutely got that. You know, we're running out of time, so just want to squeeze in a couple of questions on gold itself. That's the big trigger for the bank, right? I mean, you've seen a rise of over 30% in gold loans. Is that 30% growth year-on-year year something that is sustainable, A? And B, as a percentage of your overall book, how much do you think you can take gold loans to over the next one year? I think, as I said before, I hold on to that, that we will sustain that 30%. And hence, our mix will remain between uh, 45 to 50 percent, and that will uh, sustain till FY25. And what I'm saying, the preparatory work which are doing on uh, processes, technology, uh, products, uh, and given what Prashant just asked, that uh, are we comfortable in suddenly enhancing the retail business? Answer is no, because if you are a nuclear and if you get into a market which is little heated up obviously you will uh, face challenges. So we are focusing on incremental customer acquisition products and uh, you know, processes and technology. Once that is done, then we'll start picking it up. Also, we are focusing on SME and wholesale in a big way. And all of that will start seeing from FY25 onwards. Still then, I think gold will continue to be close to 50% of our portfolio. Okay. And uh, finally, on overall loan growth, what is a sustainable range for you? 20%, 25%? By the end of FY24, what are we looking at? So, as I said before, I hold on to that, that we will grow in around 50% faster than the system. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. in the systemic growth, there is a little bit of a noise because of the HDFC limited merger. Now, uh, I'm not considering that. The core growth uh, uh, without the uh, limited merger, uh, if you take it, uh, on that, we will definitely grow by 50% faster than that. And, uh, and hence, I'm quite comfortable somewhere around uh, uh, 25% kind of a number uh, going ahead as well for the year. 
All right, uh, we'll leave it at that, sir. Thanks a lot for joining in. Appreciate your thoughts. Uh, that is CSB Bank. But let's